My name is Dr. Natalie Agar. I'm a faculty in the Department of Neurosurgery at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, an affiliate of Harvard Medical School. I am extremely grateful uh, for the Brain Science Foundation for their support throughout the years. They have first uh, supported my research effort in providing um, research fellowship and later on to establish the laboratory here in the Department of Neurosurgery, the Surgical Molecular Imaging Laboratory. Well, at a very young age, I always thought I wanted to be a scientist. Um, for Christmas, I would ask for a microscope and insect collection that I could look into the microscope. But um, after high school in Canada, we do what we, we call uh, CJEP, which is general sciences. And I had read a poster about uh, biochemistry and uh, trying to see which molecules would lead a cell to become a particular cell in your body, and which is what really opened the path to first do a bachelor's in uh, biochemistry. When I graduated with uh, my PhD in chemistry, I decided to join a neurosurgery lab. I was also very interested in to uh, better understanding the brain. So all of these coming together, I, I did a first postdoctoral fellowship at McGill University mm -hmm. um, and started understanding tumor cell biology, looking into different molecular imaging applications. Then I decided to join for a second fellowship here at the Brigham with Dr. Peter Black in the Department of Neurosurgery. And this is when I proposed to him to start using mass spectrometry imaging applications to subclassify brain tumors. And um, through support from the Brain Science Foundation, we were able to get some projects going. And with time, I was promoted to a faculty position, and we have since set up uh, the laboratory here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. The Surgical Molecular Imaging Laboratory is um, developed to, uh, is set up to actually develop new molecular imaging applications to guide in neurosurgery mostly, but also the surgery of other uh, tumors. We are developing mass spectrometry imaging applications and validating them with um, more um, gold standard optical imaging applications and trying to provide the neurosurgeons with uh, better tools to look at the brain and the tumor and better differentiate them. Um, we're also developing applications to look into the distribution of drugs that would affect brain tumors and they're crossing what we call the blood-brain barrier and to uh, in helping to develop better drugs for the treatment of brain tumors. In the laboratory we have two uh, mass spectrometers. One is a multi-top-top -top mass spectrometer uh, in which we do mass spectrometry imaging of tissue sections and the other one is a um, um, DESI top mass spectrometer that we're using to develop the intraoperative molecular imaging application. And when we're doing mass spectrometry imaging, we validate our data using um, optical microscopy, optical imaging using uh, bright field microscopy, but also fluorescence microscopy, which is one that you're seeing here at the Pathology System.